Today's McCain challenge features a thousand rand shopping voucher, not to be sniffed at. What have you got to do? Well, you've got to come up with something pretty creative with one of their sides, a mashed button out of the hint of cinnamon. So I don't want you to give it to me on the side of your roast for a Sunday, because I know you can do that. I want you to think of something really sort of cunning and creative. You can show me another way to use mashed button out. Obviously I'm going to need the frozen button out. So, there it is. Now usually you would sort of put it in the microwave for about six minutes, not longer than that, and you'd have a beautiful, delicious button up moment. But I don't want it to be completely cooked through because obviously I'm going to put it in a quiche. I'm going to use the whole packet. See, they're rather divine. They're like little um, ice cubes of butter nut. So just three minutes, really, because we just want it to sort of soften up to manage, to be able to mush. Right. Leave that there. Okay, now let's start. I'm going to use five eggs, which my happy chickens laid. And I'm going to pop a cup of cream in, so a whole carton, really. Okay, let's check on the butternut. That's off. Alrighty, let's see. It should be sort of... So just put in the back mashed butternut, beat it all together. It doesn't need to be fluffy, you just want to incorporate the eggs and the butternut. And then I've got a cup of grated cheese. I've used cheddar cheese. You could use some feta if you like, or you could do feta and cheddar. Then some pepper, and then some salt. Now, not strictly necessary, but I'm going to add some spring onions and some parsley. Well, because I think it's a bit nicer if there's a bit of colour involved. Uh, you know, why not? So, I've got four spring onions. I'm just going to finely slice those. And I'm going to use some flat leaf parsley. About, sort of like a handful. Chop it quite finely. You don't want sort of big floating leaves in there. And then we can just sprinkle your onions and your parsley into the mixture. And then just kind of introduce everything to each other. And that's it. I mean, it's really dead simple. I must say, having the butternut kind of ready chopped, mushed, smashed, made delicious. It's all quite convenient, really. And I've got a quiche pan here that I've, or tart dish, that I've um, just greased lightly. And I'm just going to tip this into there. So that's what I've done with my delicious mashed butternut. Now you've got to dream up something equally fabulous, or even hopefully more fabulous, to do with your butternut. Whatever you do when you're doing that, you've got to remember the hashtag. So it's just cook McCain, made with McCain, and it'll be McCain butternut. Just cook McCain, made with McCain, McCain butternut. Into the oven it goes about 180 degrees for about half an hour. Beautiful. Perfect, really. Hot. Oh, I'm just going to see it's all set. Mm, mm, mm. I mean, I tell you what, that's really simple, especially with the butternut ready done. Look at that. And I reckon it's great for a little light lunch, a simple dinner, probably put it into a lunch box. Mm, I don't know, I'm going to give it a whirl. Now, all I'm saying is basically the challenge is that you come up with something different to do with your butternut side. Enjoy it.